guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a hair tutorial on this wash and go. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look, keep watching. So how I start my wash and goes, unless it's an actual wash day, is I wet my hair in the shower. I use some type of conditioner to comb it out. And um, I comb it out actually with the Tangle Teaser. I find that it makes more clumped curls, which will help with like definition. So I did that and I had it in my hair towel, which I just took off. And now I'm gonna go into styling. So I like to separate my hair in sections. Y'all, um, I got this robe and I ordered it. And um, it doesn't really fit me, which is crazy because stuff always fits me. Not to say like that, but stuff is always like too big for me. But now, this is actually too small for me because your girl done got quarantine thick. <laughs> kind of, sort of, not really. I've just been eating. Like, I eat when I'm bored now, which wasn't really a thing. And yeah, like, I've actually gained weight. So I got what I thought would, like, normally be my size. And it's, like, way too small. Like, this is a rope. This is not supposed to be fitting like this. Or whatever so excuse how it looks I know I look crazy so I'm just gonna take this section here I'm probably gonna separate this I think I'm gonna actually separate this section so I just kind of separate it there's no special way of how I'm separating it just to get it out the way. Clip it right there, and this is the section I'm gonna work on. My hair's gotten dry since I came out the shower, so this is my little mixture. It's water. Um, I believe I have some argan oil and a little bit of leave-in. So I'm just saturating my hair first product I'm using is the Talia huh. Talia Wahid green apple and aloe leave-in conditioner I hope I pronounced this properly but yes this is what I've been using it's a spray leave-in conditioner and um it's my first time really using a spray leave-in conditioner for the most part um I like how it distributes through a spray so I put a good amount there and I'm kind of finger combing it up to my roots just to get any tangles out. And now I'm going to go in with their <laughs> Oh my freaking gosh, bro. I'm such a clutch. Let me take a drink for that. Oh, if that would have broke, I would have feel better. Keep it. I'm gonna go. Now I'm going to go in with their curl definer. And you can see the consistency of this. Um, it's pretty thick. Yeah, it's pretty thick. So... So for me, kind of like a little bit went a long way. See, I'm taking it off the cap. This might actually be a lot. No, this is, this is good enough. So for this, you're going to want to rub it between your hands. It actually says that the warmth is going to help the product define your curls. So I'm listening to what they say. And I'm kind of like just scraping it through. And then, and I'm looking at my other mirror, so if I'm not looking at y'all, as long as you can see, that's all that matters. Then I'm kind of like scrunching it. I'm gonna take that next section. Just 
So man, I wonder how everyone's doing. I hope you guys are staying home. I'm going to be providing you with a lot of content. So if you wanna hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. And yeah, man, I think that I didn't anticipate for this to be happening this long, you know, but you just have to embrace everything, find the positivity in everything. That's what I've been trying to do, man. So I kind of have certain parts of my hair that are a little bit um, more tangled than other parts because I have different textures in my hair. So you can see here, this part's a little bit, my curls are a little bit tighter in this area. So for that, like I just have to go harder in those areas. Like I'll put more leave in, I'll probably have to put like a little bit more product and really like focus in that area. So again, I'm going in with the spray. Kind of focusing on the roots. Ooh. Yeah, definitely a difference from the bottom half curl definer. Oh yeah, this section right here. Wow. They got 10 on. Ain't no way. And now I'm going to diffuse. Before I diffuse, I like to put um, a heat protectant. The one that I'm using now is, um, I think this is like a Sally's brand and it has a little bit of shine. It's a high shine glossing mist, um, but it's to use before you add heat. So I like to use it before I diffuse my hair. So I just kind of spray it all over. I focus on the ends too. It smells freaking amazing. And then I'm going to diffuse on, um, I'm probably gonna do it on the warm setting, but at a low speed. don't fully dry my hair with the diffuser I kind of just like dry it enough that it's not dripping of water or product so like at this point I would be good and kind of let it air dry but not before I add an oil so this is like just an oil mixture that I have you can use whichever one you like um this one has argan and castor oil I believe and maybe a little bit of tea tree oil I'm not sure I like mixed a lot of oils but I put that oil to kind of add um to my hair, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. My curls are fully dried right now. I had to kind of change my setup because um, I had a Q&A that I was doing on my Instagram page. So I'm actually gonna, it's in my comments. Actually, it's gonna be in this corner. My Instagram, you guys can check me out at Angie Trini. 
with two eyes at the end. But anyway, yeah, so <laughs> this is the final look. I, I love it. My hair feels super soft because of the oil that I added. It really does make a difference, I find, in my wash and goes. So, yeah, man. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you at my next video. Bye.